Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Grubbin Community Day and I am super excited. People have been waiting for this community day for a long time and we finally get a new shiny and I'm super excited about that. We are about 20 minutes late only because I had to grab myself a vanilla latte. So hopefully this caffeine pumps me up and we're able to grind this community day. But before we get started, I did want to give a huge thanks to Timbo Times here on YouTube. He did end up gifting me the grubbing community day event paid research so thank you for that but other than that guys i'm super excited for this event all right guys so to start things off we do have a shadow zapdos right here at the park but unfortunately no one is here so i cannot solo it which is unfortunate because i only have one shadow zapdos and it is not a shiny so hopefully some people come there is a few more minutes left in the raid about 30 um but yeah so we're going to go ahead and talk to the professor and see what we have to do for the first page of the paid research the plugging along we are going to make five nice throws catch 15 grubbin and power up 10 a pokemon 10 times which can be the same pokemon so that should give us an encounter with grubbin and let's see but before we do that we have two grubbin here unfortunately the first one was not a shiny which is fine we are still going to get that shiny today and there's one more shiny 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 nope not a shiny so i'm going to go ahead and get out of the car walk around and hopefully get my first shiny my goal for today is to get at least double digits in shiny grubbin so i'm hoping for maybe like 10 we're aiming for 10 guys 10 grubbin at least 10 shiny grubbin not regular grubbin shiny grubbin all right guys look what i just found i got a shiny grubbin this is my first shiny grubbin and i am super excited i saw that cricket had mentioned that it looked like strawberries and cream and honestly i totally see it is super cute i love the shiny color and we're going to go ahead and grab it and let's see it is a ooh, a zero star and really bad ivs but it's okay this is my first one i'm hoping to get at least 10 more so let's go ahead and go and hopefully we get some more shiny luck all right so we just finished page one of our research and we get 15 pokeballs 20 grubbin candy and we have an encounter with the grubbin the hundo is 421 so hopefully we get that hundo and it is a 412 not the hundo um thankfully today it's not as windy as other days unfortunately for the past maybe like three community days it's been windy so a lot of my videos have been catching that wind behind it but i mean it is what it is um we have our final not final we have our next encounter all right we get three thousand stardust we get a incense and another encounter 421 421 421 and 412 if only that 12 was flipped over we would have that hundo so far we only have one shiny i do have to walk around this park a little bit then after that i'm trying to spin some more pokestop just so I can get more encounters let's go ahead and go to page two of professor's research and I'm gonna skip this I am not interested in what he has to say I never am and if you guys want to read it then go ahead and slow it down but page two we need to transfer 10 Pokemon catch 15 Grub and evolve three Grubbin and that will also get us in encounter I think it is the second evolution for Grubbin so we are going to go ahead and walk and we'll come back for the second page of the research all right guys so i caught one more shiny grubbin on my way over to the showcase right next to me and that is shiny number two for today um we still have a long ways to go but i did want to mention that in order to evolve the charger bug the second evolution of grubbin you do need to be by a magnetic lure so i do have to make sure to look for that thankfully there are some people here who are playing pokemon go and are able to put the lure so a lot of our pokestops here around are lured up but we did finish that evolution that's number three for the second page of plugging along we get 10 pineapple berries 30 grubbing candies and then our encounter and 321 or sorry 421 411 not the hundo but we do have one more encounter this is with the second evolution i think let's see no we still have a grubbin okay that's that's good and it's a 399 that sucks it is not a good one it's probably a two star let me see probably a two star oh well, that one's a three star 
I guess it's not a two star. We're gonna talk to the professor and of course we're gonna skip this again because I am not trying to read all that, but if you guys wanna read it, go ahead and pause. And that was it. Oh no, we have this one. Oh, we didn't catch it. Oh, I thought we had caught it, but I guess not. We didn't catch the $3.99. All right, there, we did. Okay, we have third page of plugging along. We have three great curveball throws, 15 grub bins, and one charge of bug to evolve. So that's pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and do that, but yeah. So I did want to mention that Pokemon Go does have an online store where you're able to buy some Poke coins, or sometimes they have certain exclusive boxes that you won't find in the Poke store on the app. So I do buy a lot of my coins here because sometimes they do add a few extra ones. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, right now I do have zero Pokeballs, so this Ultra Community Day box is calling my name. It is $10, but it does come with 500 Pokeballs, one Poffin, and three Lucky Eggs. So I think I'm going to buy this one. I tried buying it earlier and it wasn't letting me, I think because I had purchased it before, but it's giving me the option to buy, so I'm going to buy this one. And let me see, hopefully, let's see, proceed to payment, and you can use Apple Pay, so that's a plus. So I'm trying to purchase it, as you guys can see and after I proceed a payment it's not letting me buy it let me go ahead and log back in and ultra community proceed a payment and still it's not letting me purchase it which is pretty weak well Pokemon Go I don't know what's going on your web store is not letting me buy a box and I mean I guess maybe it'll save me some money that I'm not buying it, but I do need those Pokeballs. I have zero Pokeballs, but back to Pokemon Go, we are here in the showcase and it is a Vickavolt, but I do have to evolve my Vickavolt. So I'm going to go by the magnetic lure and I'm going to evolve it. So I have that in my Pokedex and I can enter it into the showcase. All right guys, so we're back in the car and honestly, we got a pretty good amount of shinies during the park and during calm days, I usually get about 10 shinies, maybe 11, maybe 12. So honestly, I think this time we're going to surpass that, which is pretty big deal for me. So I'm going to finish page three of the research and then we'll come back. All right, guys, literally right when I was about to turn off my camera, I just got another shiny, which is pretty exciting. So we're aiming for that 20 this time instead of that 10. And here we are. We just finished page three of our research. We're going to claim those rewards and a grubbin 409, which is not the hunt so we're gonna catch that and I believe page four is always an auto fill so let's go ahead and see and professor I do not want to talk to you right now and yeah it is an auto fill so we're going to collect our rewards the pineapple berries the ultra balls and then an encounter with oh and Evie throws it back and I believe the final yeah a Vicavolt so we have our Vicavolt a 1290 and yeah that's it with our page and you know what it was pretty easy um, it always usually is so we're going to go around we're going to see how many shinies we catch this time and um, I'll fill you guys back in a little bit all right guys so we're back at the house and i would say grubbing community day was a success it surprised me how many shinies i got today at one point i ended up just driving around and just finding shinies that way and honestly i think i would say i caught more shinies doing that than walking around in the park which is pretty cool all right before we look at all the shinies we got and i give a breakdown about the event i do have three researches that i have to claim and i will say i was not able to get a hundo or a shundo so this is the last chance to do so so fingers crossed hopefully we get that hundo or maybe a shundo so first one we got 402 second one we got 415 what's the hundo 421 421 Oh, I almost got scared. I thought it was the hundo, but it's not the hundo, guys. The hundo is 421. All right, we'll catch that one real quick. And then our last one, our last scrubbing for today is a 397 not a hundo so unfortunately we did not get the hundo today which is completely fine i mean i wasn't expecting to get a hundo today but we are going to look at all the shinies we did get today so h zero and shiny we got a total of 
25 shinies today which is honestly the most I've gotten in a community day usually I hit about like I said before 10 maybe 11 I think the most I've gotten is like 15 or 16 but I got 25 shiny grubbins and honestly that is surprising to me and honestly I don't feel like I grinded at this event as much as previous events so that was kind of um, exciting for me I definitely got more shinies than what I thought I was going to get the shiny rates were pretty high at least for me I know I don't know about other people I haven't really um, looked into it or I haven't really been on Twitter to say too much about it but I did get 25 shinies um, other than that they did spawn a lot I noticed that there was a lot of spawns and a lot of little herds around different areas so that was a really big plus we did get two times the XP for catching Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, I definitely could have taken more advantage of that, but unfortunately I didn't. And I think I did pretty well. I mean, I didn't get as much XP as I could have. I feel like I could have gotten way more than what I did, but I mean, um, yeah, honestly, I would call this event a win. I definitely think that a lot of people did take advantage of it. It definitely, you know, when new shinies come out in Pokemon Go, people take advantage of it and definitely grind for it. So if that was you, then you know what? But congrats to you and I hope you guys had a really good grubbing community day so before I end this video I did want to point out that before when I was having trouble with the web store for Pokemon Go it was because I didn't have any space for those items so that was the case but I did want to mention that there's a very good deal going on in the web store online on the Pokemon Go website. I'll link it down below. But it is called the Great Storage Box. And in this Great Storage Box, you get three premium battle passes, 150 Pokemon storage, and three super incubators for only $4.99. So um, I definitely bought this just because the super incubators themselves are really pricey. And the fact that it comes with two other things, um, I think it's a really good deal so I just wanted to point that out in case you guys wanted to go check that out all right guys so that's it for me make sure to subscribe to my channel leave a like leave a comment let me know how your community day was did you have fun how many shinies did you catch and uh, make sure to catch my live streams this coming week and that's it thank you so much and bye guys